today in this video i'll be discussing regarding the big data it is a most common uh, question about what is really the big data many of the people talk about what is big data how it is collected and uh, how the logs are generated and many more questions are asked about big data so uh, the the most confused topic of big data and analytics will be covered in today's session so let's get started what is big data uh, like uh, many of us use facebook youtube twitter uh, google as well as uh, flickr whatsapp so uh, day by day millions and millions of uh, data are being generated and uh, each and every moment not every moment but each and every second uh, new uh, uh, concepts of uh, images or some compression or something like uh, the entire uh, format is being changed and uh, Uh, new videos millions and millions and tons of videos uh, structured unstructured semi structured multi structured uh, many types of uh, data are being categorized which are uh, wholly driven into big data so basically the types of data that uh, big data consist is uh, the structured data structured data of uh, the in table format like the oracle sybase uh mysql all those things uh, relational dbms all those comes under the category of uh, the structured data uh, while the semi structured data you can uh, find as the logs which are used for the gmails by logging on to a server you may require certain logs so those logs are being uh, categorized under the semi structured data next is uh, the unstructured data unstructured data is the uh, most widely generated and Uh, it's like for every second it is being generated uh, it is from the social media the facebook youtube twitter uh, and many other social networking sites so millions and millions and tons of data generated every moment and are being dumped at some servers or some at host for processing and for uh, further other action so uh, all these data together uh, when it is summed up it becomes a huge pile of the digital data called as the big data so this is what the big data is of so also the internet of things you may have heard about the iot the wireless uh, sensor networks which are installed on uh, the cars as well as uh, for some emergency cases so these uh, data to this iot are directly moving on to the cloud and from cloud they move it to the big data so all this data from megabytes to gigabytes to terabytes it may pile up to petabytes exabytes or maybe higher than that you may have uh, no idea how, how much amount of data are being dumped into this category of big data <coughs> analytics so uh, one more challenge in uh, collecting the big data is that you have to analyze it so uh, while you collect the big data from various sources it becomes a huge task to analyze the data as well as you have to categorize it accordingly uh, based upon their categories like the structured unstructured semi structured and multi structured so all these data are required for uh, vital activities and for day to day activities they are required very much so uh, not uh, describing more so big data is a term which denotes the large volume of data both structured and unstructured that inundates a business in a day to day basis means in a day to day basis at homes or at schools or at offices or at some other uh, places all these kinds of structured multi structured semi structured data uh, the thing which i am uh, interacting to you this video is going to be uploaded on youtube so this is another uh, kind of data that is the unstructured data which doesn't have any structures uh, more probably in a binary format that is 10 formats so all this uh, comes under the big data so all these pile ups on the server and it makes a huge mountain called as the big data so what is big what is data so data is the uh, major thing we use for day to day activities which is used for information communication and the big volume of it denotes the big term for giving it a much bigger name called as the big data so now why we need to analyze this big data this big data is analyzed for insights that lead to strategic business moves or further actions which can be taken based upon the uh, big data which you get now uh, what actions means like 
if some uh, from some place you get uh, x amount of data or x m bytes of data and from other location that is from y you get some uh, gb of data means those data you can correlate with each other and can drive for some new business solution which will have some more powerful impact on the industry as well as for further development uh, purposes this big data is very essential now how this big data is actually formed now this big data is actually formed based upon three components that is first is the cloud means whatever we do or whatever we uh, send the mails or uh, upload any videos images uh, you send some uh, gifs file or something other all those things are being gone up that is to the cloud means the cloud is the uh, major contributor to big data means everything that we generate uh, including the gmail gmail has a free space of 17 gb which is also a cloud means all the data uh, which you are uh, giving means the mails or the images or anything other uh, are being uh, converted to the cloud and this cloud has a storage space of much larger that is about 500 GB, 1 TB, 2 TB depends upon the uh, vendor configuration that uh, how much space they need to allocate even more than that it can be happen uh, so this major contributor is the big data to the cloud so cloud is one uh, major factor for contributing to the big data next is the mobile devices each one of us have a smartphones nowadays since most of the people are being uh, going digital means they have a smartphone uh, they have two smartphones three smartphones so the smartphones are also creating big data means the logs which are generated from calls the images they take the selfies the videos uh, the gif files so uh, it doesn't have any count like day by day it's going on increasing the uh, number of uh, data it, it's not fixed but it's variable depending upon the new technologies that are emerging so this mobile devices also uh, contribute to much of the uh, contribution to big data but not much as to the cloud ultimately the data which is created on the mobile are being carried on to the cloud so ultimately uh, there is a interlink between mobile devices and the cloud next uh, we talk about you may be familiar with this symbols uh, it is facebook twitter youtube and whatsapp so these are the social media and networking sites that we are talking about means every day we do millions and millions of chats uh, which have some megabytes or uh, it may be like uh, your smartphone may be full you have to clean up those junk and these junks are moving uh, don't know you uh, just encrypt it and just dump it to somewhere so these data are being moved to big data so uh, you can now estimate the size that how much amount of uh, data is carried in this uh, big data means like it's very much big than you think it's day by day increasing it's there is no limit for this big data next we'll see a diagram means how the uh, data is moving up from megabytes to petabytes so at the base level we have the ERP system so ERP system is basically the enterprise resource and planning system so in that we have uh, data in form of structures tables and some charts or bar graphs pie charts holographs so uh, this data are stored in ERP means ERP is the uh, very small category of data that it can generate of data up to megabytes that is 10 raised to 6 and it consists of the purchase detail the purchase record payment records now these records are uh, generated while during the e-commerce like uh, when you shop something from amazon dot in uh, some uh, order summary is generated and some purchase record payment you have done that record so all those things are also contributing to the ERP not only of business but uh, some business outside the four walls of the home so uh, ERP consists of data which is measured in megabytes actually it may be more than that but for uh, theory purpose it's only up to megabytes next as we move up to this chain we can have the CRM that is the customer relationship and management so uh, this section has got 
all the segmentation means uh, the data we uh, collect from ERP are then segmented into bits and bytes. We need to analyze it. We need to process it. So for processing, we do the segmentation, the offer details, the purchase you have made, the offer they have applied from Amazon, like 15% discount or uh, this big billion day or something other. So all those details have been categorized into the CRM, that is the customer relationship management. The customer touches the each input, the customer touches on that side, each click, that is pay per click on each of the button, each of the items, uh, each of the uh, payment page, they make the secure gateway to uh, some other banking site. So all those comes under the customer relationship management, which are integrated with the banking facility. Next is the support contact. Uh, support contact means like uh, if there is some uh, case that the customer faces any challenges or while doing the payment, uh, they may have to uh, support for uh, the call center. So in that case, uh, multiple calls are being generated to the call centers. Millions and millions of logs from different parts of the world are generated. So all those dumps are being categorized and put into CRM. Now the CRM comprises most of the gigabytes that is of 10 raised to 10 GB. So from megabytes to gigabytes, uh, the size goes on increasing. Next, as we move up the chain, we find the web that is World Wide Web www. Uh, now in this, you have the web logs, the web logs from Gmail. You log on to a Gmail server every now and then. So uh, you maintain a session ID, you maintain a log for accessing your emails reading emails, sending emails, uh, for attaching uh, many of the files. So uh, all these things are being categorized into the World Wide Web. Also the domains which you have registered for your personal websites. Uh, so uh, this web logs as well as the offer history uh, are categorized into the web that is the World Wide Web. Also uh, many kind of text uh, that is the alpha and beta test, A, B test, the dynamic pricing means uh, a bid may be placed on a particular site like uh, some uh, alibaba.com or something other which may have some uh, bid facility it means the price goes on changing dynamic price ranges in the midnight the price uh, reduces uh, considerable uh, to a level and also the affiliate marketing affiliate marketing are those marketing in which uh, one can prove its skills on a particular uh, site like uh, a known site is fiverr.com uh, on Fiverr, you can create your account, you can uh, upload your skills like uh, you can type these many characters per hour or you can do proofreading or concentrating or something like that. So uh, these data are also being generated in form, in some form, maybe structured or unstructured. So these are all categorized under the World Wide Web, that is the www. Next, and uh, this web comprises of the terabytes, that is the TB 10 raised to 12 of the order. And as we move up to the chain, that is uh, when we categorize this MB, GB and TB, uh, we go to this petabytes, that is 10 raised to 15, that is the utmost or the ultimate uh, kind of data. And this is the big data finally uh, we arrive at and what this big data actually consists of. It consists of the sensors, the environmental sensors, the pressure sensors. Uh, the climatic conditions which are being mapped, the weather forecasting, whether it's a rainy season or winter season, or what is the temperature in Fahrenheit, Celsius. So all those data are being captured. You don't realize it, but it's monitored every now and then, every day, every week, every second, every minute is being monitored. Next is the RFID sensors. And RFID is for uh, remote protection in uh, automation in mobile uh, as well as it is used in uh, car automation systems, anti-lock braking system, ABS mechanism. Next in devices, uh, many of the devices it is used, mobile web, user clickstream. User clickstream is a clicking on particular sites, its content and redirecting to some other content. So it's all linked in a chain so that you can uh, understand what amount of uh, data is being generated during this click. So you may not realize it in a day-to-day -day activities, what all things you have seen, you can open your uh, history page and can see uh, what particular websites you have visited and what kind of data or how much amount of megabytes gigabytes of data is generated and is being dumped to the uh, big data next is a uh, user content uh, user content is that what user uploads to a site for example if uh, he wants to design one uh, web page or he wants to uh, make one 
uh, banner or some cover photo then he may use some sites like canva.com or uh, something other so uh, in that website he will upload uh, the data from his machine uh, to the cloud server so that is one uh, way where the data gets compiled on the cloud next is the sentimental analysis sentimental analysis is another branch uh, where you can actually filter out the results which are being uh, populated on a, a comment section basically in youtube in quora.com you can see the comments the good comments bad comments are all uh, filtered uh, thereby so it comes under the sentimental analysis next is the social interaction as you can see the facebook twitter youtube and whatsapp uh, next is the feeds we use the rss feeds the xml feeds and uh, the gps the global position systems every now and then people use the google maps while driving also for directions uh, they use the google maps so gps also plays a vital important role in big data so next is the demographics demographics is the amount of data that people are using every day every second every now and then so a log is also generated based on the demographics next is the audio and the video hd images hd images is the uh, most heaviest form of files uh, that are available uh, like 4k recording uh, or some of higher resolutions uh, images also hd images when you generate an image from dslr is usually up to 6 mb 7 mb so all those kinds of images audio video are all being dumped it's ultimately being processed at the end of the day means for user satisfaction it needs to get processed and it needs to be uploaded and for user satisfaction uh, this should all happen so you can estimate the amount of data that you are dumping onto this site so uh, this uh, categorization of big data is being uh, divided into three main uh, tagline called as the length breadth and the depth means it will measure the data length wise it will measure the data breadth wise as well as depth wise means as depth as it can go it will drill down and pull the data out whenever you search on google uh, it will never say that the result was not found in some cases uh, for exceptionally if you type the uh, cases or keywords wrong at that time only it will uh, produce such results in most of the cases in 99% uh, cases it will fetch out the results so those results are from the depth of uh, the pool from the big data so this is all about uh, the big data introduction means many of may be wondering what is big data so uh, this is what all about big data in my future videos i'll discuss regarding the hadoop ecosystem what is hadoop ecosystem how MapReduce works uh, what is algorithm and many other uh, videos so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this